Hi and welcome back and today we're going to talk about the very best NAS hard drives for you this year. So obviously NAS is pretty popular. You wouldn't have found this video if you weren't already interested in NAS or already own a NAS and you want to learn more. But with so many hard drives out there, it's easy to get confused with what's the right drive for your setup. Because there is no one best NAS hard drive, okay? That's why I pluralized it. There are different kinds of NAS hard drive out there that are geared towards certain advantages and disadvantages. And today I want to talk about the different um, key focus points that you guys look for in NAS hard drives and what's the best drive to go for. We're gonna look at, I'm gonna look off screen here, the best price, the best value, because they are different things, support, warranty, and the fastest NAS hard drive. So these five um, uh, um, points here are the ones that we're going to cover. Now, before we proceed, yes, you don't have to buy a NAS-based hard drive. You can buy any hard drive, really, as long as it's SATA-based. Uh, you should be absolutely fine, um, and at least 250, maybe even 120 gig, but no less than that because the operating system of most NAS gets at around 30 to 50 gig on its own once you've got all the updates over a few years, so do bear that in mind. The other thing to remember is, once again, you don't have to use NAS-based hard drives, but given these hard drives are probably going to be on for days, weeks, months at a time, and in a number of cases, they're going to be in a RAID configuration. You want to make sure you have a hard drive that performs in this environment. And that's why nas -based hard drives exist. Because we've got to the point now with NAS where we can tailor media for that environment. So that's enough bump. That's what NAS hard drives are. If you want to learn more, do check out my other video about what's the difference between a NAS hard drive and a standard hard drive. It's back there in the old catalog. But let's go with the first drive, price. Now... In terms of price per terabyte or per gigabyte, whatever way you want to look at it, across the entire range, the lowest priced NAS hard drive out there is Seagate Iron Wolf. They are lower than WD Red, they're lower than HGSD, they are the lowest priced hard drive out there. Now, it arrives with a 5900 RPM speed, it arrives with um, two to three years manufacturer's warranty in some cases, and on top of that, you can buy certain Seagate hard drives that have got that rescue package, and we'll talk about that later on in the video. But in terms of the lowest price NAS hard drive, so that is a hard drive that's geared for NAS with vibration sensors, temperature sensors, and uh, NAS-based firmware on board that's designed for that environment, the lowest price out there is Seagate Iron Wolf. Whether they're the best drive, that's up to you. But if, you're, if price is your priority, Seagate Iron Wolf for you. Moving one step forward, what about the best value series uh, NAS hard drive? Now, before I tell you what it is, do bear in mind that the difference between price and value is such. Price is obviously it's a numerical figure. That is what you are paying. Value is how much you get for your money. Because it's one thing to say something is expensive, and it's another one to say you get so much included in that price. And that's the difference between price and value. Value means the most for your money. And the most for your money is WD Red. Now, WD Red for me is kind of like the, the market choice at the moment in terms of NAS hard drive, particularly the four terabyte WD Red hard drive. It has just found that sweet spot uh, for what it gives you at that price threshold at four terabytes. And now a four terabyte hard drive is pretty much considered the standard in NAS. Now again, WD uh, Red hard drives, their firmware has been developed a lot longer than Seagate. Uh, and the WD Red NASWare, now up to NASWare version 3.0, controls all of those vibration sensors, the temperature sensors, and the construction of the drive as such, if not even better than the Seagate drive. Um, another thing with WD that I've always found quite interesting is Seagate are always quick to get the very latest, largest sizes out there. They were the first to get to 10 terabytes, the first to get to 12, and they will be the first to get to 14. But um, in terms of NAS, although WD Red doesn't come out as quick, they do seem to have slightly lower failure rates. And so WD Red do seem to spend a little bit more time working out the kinks in the platters for all of that storage that's going to be inside that hard drive a little bit more. And that's why they're my value choice in terms of NAS hard drives. Once again, the best value, WD Red. Next, we can talk about support. Now, support means when you've got a problem, will you get it resolved? This is more than just warranty. That's why we've moved that into a separate section. But the best support hard drive brings us back to Seagate with the Seagate Iron Wolf Pro Series. Now, yes, the Pro Series drives, like the WD Red Pros, are designed primarily for large arrays with lots and lots of disks. We don't need to install a Pro Series drive in a large array. You can pop it inside a one or two bag if you so choose. Why would you do that? Well, 
The Seagate Iron Wolf Pro Series arrives with a number of features. One, it's got a five year warranty. Two, it's got a dedicated 7200 RPM inside and 256 megabytes of cache. It's available in up to 12 TB and I believe 14 TB in September. But best of all, they all include the rescue software, uh, the rescue package, if you will. And what that means is, you've got data on your drive, and I hope when you're using the drive in the NAS, you've got your backups up to date, your, your RAID to save you from a drive failure, that sort of thing, so your data's fine. But in the event that these systems aren't there or they fail you, what you need is data recovery to retrieve the data that's on the platters inside that hard disk. And that is a mechanical chore. You can't do that with just plain software. That does require some specialist equipment. Because of that, data recovery is hugely expensive. I mean, some if you're a company, especially if you're a company, you can expect to pay five, 10, 15, even 20,000 pounds to retrieve that data based on the severity of uh, the damage and the tools that are gonna be required to retrieve it. So that's why. The fact that Sega Arm Wolf Pro that arrives with free data recovery is so appealing. But what it means is for a few years when you've got the drive, again it does differ drive to drive, I think it's either two or three years. Um, the drive itself, if there it is a failure, you can send that drive off to Seagate, they can even arrange collection from you, but you will have to speak with them about that. And then that drive will have the data recovered as much as they can. They can't promise, but the point is they're including this for free. And given that Pro Series drives are only about 30 to 50 pounds more expensive. And once you get to the top threshold of some of these drives where they cost about three or 400 quid a pop, your data must be important. So therefore 30 to 50 quid extra for peace of mind, it's not a lot. And of course they run faster too. And in terms of that support, Seagate have had great success with that recovery, the rescue service that they include. And that does extend as well to Lacey series devices as well that feature Seagate drives. But they are my best support NAS hard drives, and if that's, if that's what you care about, then they're the ones for you. Moving, moving away from support, let's talk about warranty. It's something that you should all care about, not just in NAS hard drives, but everywhere. Support uh, is, you know, helping you out along the way, but warranty is a commitment, okay? Warranty is something, when you buy a new TV, a washing machine, anything, you should care about the warranty, because the length of a warranty is effectively the company's way of telling you how much faith they have in that product. I remember when Samsung's Pro Series of SSD, some of them had a 10 year warranty. So that means if that fails in 10 years, they'll just send you another one. They might try to repair it, they probably won't, it's not cost effective, and they'll send you a brand new unit. That is a huge degree of a commitment. So when you see these drives and their warranties, if you see a drive with one year of warranty, avoid it, okay? So that's why for me, in terms of warranty, the best drive is the WD Red Pro. Because yes, it has a five year warranty, just like the Seagull Iron Wolf Pro. And that's got all that rescue and support. So why am I saying WD Red Pro is better? Well, two facts. One, their failure rates have been lower anyway. Two, more importantly, over the last five or six years, I've literally handled hundreds of drives, probably somewhere in the region of six to 700 drives, doing installations for colleagues, installations for companies, and on top of that, I've dealt with so many different NAS devices in that time period, probably more than 30 to 40 individual installations on a grand, grand scale, not counting the little tiny ones. And across that time, I've had about seven or eight failed drives. And of all of those, the ones that had the best and fastest turnaround were WD Red Pro. I had a replacement in my hand in 48 hours. They honor you at your word, and they will send you that replacement, and a lot of the time just say, send the drive back to us within 30 days. Again, it does depend on the drive you buy, uh, but the Pro Series, that is an option to you. Seagate doesn't present that to you so readily, and also, WD collected the drives from me on each occasion. So it's definitely, again, I can only speak for my region, but that happened, and that's why for me personally, WD Red Pro is the warranty choice. And if you care about warranty, they're the drives for you. Last, I want to talk about the fastest NAS hard drives. Now I'm gonna cheat a bit here, because obviously I could just say SSD. Let's face it, they're the most low temperature, no moving parts, high warranty. Um, they're bloody fast, but we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna stick with hard drives for now, because the, be the fastest NAS hard drive out there is the WD Gold which is a data center drive, so I'll be the first to admit I've cheated a bit there, but 
we've done bench test against WD Red Pro, we've done bench test against the um, Seagate Iron Wolf Pro, and in every occasion, WD Gold performed faster. Even the construction of that drive, it is a much more industrial based drive, it's got the five years of warranty, the 256 megabytes of cache, it's got all of those high intense features, uh, 7,200 7, RPM, it's got all of those enterprise level features, but because it's built for data centers, it is built to a, built to a much higher degree and to maintain those features. Because in data centers, they don't have one, two, four drives knocking around. They have arrays of 20, 40, 80, 100 drives sometimes in these giant rack arrays. So these need to maintain a consistent speed threshold. The result is, even if you install a WD uh, Gold drive in a two bay or four bay NAS, you will get incredible internal speeds and those read and writes will be fantastic too. Um, obviously it will depend on the connection to the device of using 1 GBE or 10 GBE in the right RAID, but with a simple SATA based speed test, these drives report in at 220, 230, and sometimes even 240 megabits per second. So once you uh, bung two or three of these, say you uh, buy some 4TB WD Gold drives and you buy four of them, so you've got 16 terabytes there. You've got 16 terabytes and you put them in a RAID zero, you are going to get beyond SSD speeds there because of the RAID configuration. Now, obviously, the connection of choice will make a difference, but you try getting 16 terabytes of SSD storage because remember, once you combine SSDs, you're still going to max out at SATA, which is six gigabits per second, which levels the playing field between Gold, uh, WD Gold and SSD. And that's why WD Gold, for me, is the fastest NAS hard drive. Now, before we wrap this up, I do think it's worth mentioning the worst NAS hard drive because I could mention um, some of the ones like, I think Fujitsu and uh, Toshiba, they've got some sort of NAS drives out there they've tried to copy, but they're a bit middle of the road and we're not really gonna refer to those because I don't know enough about them to make a fair judgment. But a brand that I can make a fair judgment about is HDST NAS based hard drives. I'm sure I've put some sort of joke there on the screen at the bottom, but I don't understand how this drive can be, okay? So, uh, the reason I don't like HDST NAS, one, it's got a dedicated 7200 RPM, but once you put them in RAID environments, they, you don't seem to get the same performance benefits as you do uh, WD Gold, WD Red Pro, and Sega iMorph. It's got the same cache limit as the other big drives, and it arrives with two years of warranty, which is good. But they are the noisiest drive I've ever used. Whether you use an HDST NAS drive for one, or two in a RAID one, or four drives or whatever, they are by far the noisiest hard drive I've ever seen. So a lot of the time, you'll see HTST NAS drives and think, whew, that's a good price. There's a reason for that. These are very mechanical, these drives. And I'm not gonna say they're like deafeningly listening to the prodigy sort of noise. What I will say is if you are in a one meter distance of an HTST drive, you will occasionally think the drive is broken. It's not, that's just what they sound like. They hum, click, were spin up and spin down, just a little bit noisy than any other drive. And the minute you're in a RAID array with multiple drives, that becomes very noticeable. So again, I'm not saying they're a bad drive and they are a good price. And as long as you're not gonna be within one meter of the drive, they're great. But for me, they just don't beat the other guys in terms of price, value, support, warranty, and speed. This has been the best NAS hard drives of the year. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more. Visit the NAS Compare article below, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheerio.